Okay, uh, before uh, replace PCM module, make sure you disconnect this positive battery from your battery before you uh, any work on this PCM unit. Uh, without remove this positive battery, uh, in the middle of it, you will damage PCM unit. Okay, uh, my video showed that I disconnected. I didn't make the video about it, so I just show right now that you need uh, disconnect positive uh, battery before you do any work on your vehicle. Okay. And what else have I show you? Okay, I just unscrew a um, seven millimeter. As you can see, and disconnect the PCM connector from the actual PCM unit. And all you have to do is pull this out by, and see if you can see inside, right here, the ratchet, the, the, the spring, and it will come out. Okay, you see them? All right. Okay, I just uh, drop the PCM unit out of the, the bracket. Okay, this is the old PCM unit. Voila. I just remove the PCM unit uh, from my vehicle. As you see, there's a uh, two nut and bolt holding it, and this uh, I believe it's uh, the the weather seal, the gasket, and. This is how I remove the PCM unit out of the 2003 Chevy Astro van. Okay, I'll just uh, repeat it again. Uh, first, you have to use a spring to lift it up, and then you see that little bracket right here. Uh, let me see if you can see this. Okay, this one here, one other side holding the uh, PCM unit, you have to uh, put the hand like this and lift it up, lift it up to uh, release the PCM unit out of the, the bracket. And the way pretty big, you be same, just put it in the uh, PCM and this is in, uh, it just push it in and lock it and put this uh, spring over and and it is uh, two uh, using seven millimeter socket and put it back inside the uh, PCM uh, and then this end of it and I just get your unit uh, online so I want to uh, read about more people put it on okay this is a uh, uh, PCM unit I bought it from the uh, online for about $140 I will put it on my car right now, and after that, I have to follow the this call uh, Pesky Type Three 
ignition procedure to a security system will work properly on my vehicle. Uh, I do that about after I uh, install the, 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 the new PCM on my vehicle. And number two, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, when you open the new PCM module uh, from out of the box, do not touch inside here with your finger or any metal. Maybe you shock this module, module can be broken. So do not touch inside this control module on new one. Okay? That's another tip. Do not touch any metal piece inside this module. It will damage your brand new module. Your module now work properly. Be careful. Okay, when I put this gasket back to the new unit, I gotta have a such of a hard time to put it back on the unit because when I put it out, it's already on top of it. When you put it back on, you got such hard time to put it back on. So uh, let me see. Easiest way to put this uh, seal back on is you see the harness. Put it in harness first, and push it into the PCM unit. It's much easier. Uh, let me see. I have a video for it. So disconnect the positive cable. So now, okay. Uh, I talk about you know the orange color, the the gasket. If you put it on the PC unit, you got hard time to stay on. So my recommendation is put the gasket inside here, just like a rubber band, right? Wrap around it, push it in, all day in, then. Put it on the PCM unit, it will be much easier. Remember, I have a such hard time putting the, you know, the uh, orange gasket on my new PCM unit. It has to just simply stay on. So I have to uh, glue it. But for you, put the um, orange gasket on this harness here part first, like rubber band inside. And push it in. All day in. Then, put it on the, uh, like, uh, Don't look through anything in there. Maybe. Uh, this connected to PCM unit. Okay. Okay, I'm connecting the connector with the PCM unit. Should you do the second socket? Okay, uh I'm just about to put the new put uh PCM module into the the bracket. Okay, um only way to get in. To the, the slot right there. You have to pull the harness way out here and then you have to go in like this. In and then go inside or, or like that. Okay, um, let me show you. Uh, you got the idea right because 
what happened is only way you can get in to put the piece and model inside is lift this up and battery cable then you get space and you go under like this then go slide right in can go in slide in that's when you can put it in otherwise you're gonna give a hot time then when you the PCM module uh, inside of the, the bracket holding PCM module you have to go uh, let me show again the old one right this uh, this way catch the bottom bracket then push in into the other two uh, snap if you can see them I'll hold this bracket I'm talking about right here one and two okay when you push this bracket in you know snap it into the that uh, PCM uh, bracket holder okay as you see um, I put the, this, this snap holder is totally holding the PCM unit next thing you do is put this spring this, this spring at the on top of the PCM unit And then get a Q-tip, clean inside this connector. See all that dirty thing in there? And uh, I don't want that uh, dirty thing. Maybe uh, prevent good seal gasket on the PCM unit and water leak inside, and then cause uh, what's called problem so yeah in fact there's more dirty uh, debris in there so I can clean that up before connector uh, this connector to PCM unit okay I'm connecting the, the connector back to PCM unit using 7 millimeter socket in the middle when you tight this make sure you do not over tight it just you know just leave over the hand tight that's good enough because you, you don't want to strip the thread out of this piece and you and you ruin it so just tie with the hand tie and just one turn after ratchet that's it okay okay i'll just put the spring back on the pcm unit i'll just reconnect the party tip cable so now i turn to uh make this pcm relearn about uh, this car uh, i show the procedure okay um after install the new uh, pcm module on my vehicle I have to follow this procedure called GM Vehicle Theft Relearn Procedure. Uh, that means that we have to uh, teach the new PCM uh, module uh, react to the uh, um, security uh, program had to be uh, relearn itself. So. Let me show you. Okay, as you look here, my car, uh, 2003 Chevy Astro uh, key, belongs this uh, press key three. 
So, I have to follow procedure. Press key 3, transponder, ignition key. That means, you read here, insert the master key into the ignition switch. Number 2, turn the key on position without starting the engine. Circuit light should turn on and stay on. Wait for 10 minutes until security light turn off. And then number four, turn the key to the off position for five seconds and turn the key to the on position without start engine. Circuit light should turn on and stay on. And wait, number six, wait 10 minutes until circuit lights turn off and turn off 5 seconds number 8 turn the key back on on position without start the engine circuit light should be turn on and stay on and wait 10 minutes and turn the key off position key transport information will be learned on the next start cycle that means when you turn on the position, the circuit light, uh, light, it will turn up quickly, not stay on for 10 minutes. That means you can start the car. I will show that a video after this uh, instruction. Alright, so I just show this in, uh, direction one more time on the video. You can read about it. Basically, you put the key on the ignition, on position, without the start the motor for 10 minutes, and turn off, position 5 seconds, and turn it back on without start the key for 10 minutes, turn off for 5 seconds, on and off until when uh, turn on the position and circuit light is go off right away, that means you can start the car. That's basically what it is. Uh, I show video uh, after this instruction, okay? Okay, uh, this procedure uh, put the master key on on position for 10 minutes or all, all this light turn off, but light didn't turn off at all. So it's been 10 minutes and then I turn this to off position for 5 seconds. and on position for another 10 minutes do this procedure about this is the first time two more time after that uh, start the car okay uh, on position 10 minutes and then what you have to see the secure uh, security uh, a light right here, right? If you do it, okay, you have to uh, on and off the key long procedure until security light is off, like right now. It's turned up by itself, like right now. That means your car is ready to start. If you the security, uh, the warning lights keep on that means it's turning on for 10 minutes turning on for five seconds turning on for 10 minutes without the start the car the position until the security uh, uh the warning light like okay let me show again the security light okay it's disappear that means you can't wait to start Okay.